What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And if you're in the start, y'all with this ones in it, I appreciate you anyway. So if y'all remember uh Love After Lockup with the uh, uh what's her name? Monique. I think her name was Monique and Derek, the 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 I don't even know what the the BBW woman. That was with Derek, and I said it from the jump. Yo, the buddy is only there until he gets back on his feet and he's out. And what happened? He got on his feet and he got the hell up out of there. Got the hell up out of there. I say this all the time, fellas, and I mean what I say when I say this. I don't, It does not matter about how much money you have or do not have. If a woman wants you for you, she's going to let that be known. It's not about how much money you got in your bank account, how much money you don't have in your bank account, what type of car you driving. Is it a foreign car? Is it a regular? Is it stationary? Is it is it is it uh, customized? Do you live in a six bedroom house? Do you live in a one bedroom apartment? If a woman likes you for you, all of that is going out the goddamn window. That doesn't mean anything to her. And we see it over and over and over again when I did the prison wife video. If I remember, I put that eye at the top. The, uh, the 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 woman that met a dude that was in prison on whatever the prison dating sites is, she married this man. This man was broke, making 30 cents an hour. Making 30 cents an hour. But these be the same woman telling you, yo, you make 60K, that's not enough. The audacity. Let's get into it, y'all. So here we have another love after locked up situation going on here. Let, let's, let's see what's happening. This man was in prison for seven years. We met four weeks ago, got married, moved in together, and we have a kid on the way just in four weeks. Am, am I stupid or am I? Well, y'all figured that out. Let me just tell y'all what we did today because today was an um, amazing day. After four weeks. After four weeks. Okay, we got in the car, and if I don't know, he raps, he sings, he does it all. Let me let me just add this in a bit. I use my tongue and she humming and running. I'm all in the stomach, she coming for sure. In love with the low. Facing the pillow, I eat it and beat it. They're looking in the rise when I'm sucking the toe. I might just rip the turtle. My man, my man, my man. Mm -mm -mm. And then we went to the doctor's office because he had to do a little checkup. He was incarcerated for seven years. So we had to go do a little checkup. <laughs> then we headed over to the library with. What was that laugh about? What do you mean you had to get a checkup? You talk about for STDs because he was sleeping with other men in there? What was what, what? Let me run this back. Hold on. So we had to go do a little checkup. He was incarcerated for seven years. So we my man, my man, my man. Mm -mm -mm. And then we went to the doctor's office because he had to do a little checkup. He was incarcerated for seven years. So we had to go do a little checkup. Then we headed over to the library with this nerd. You know, he's incarcerated again. So all he did was basically read books. I, like books. I didn't really know what to get. I was honestly ready to go. But then I seen this Colleen Hoover book that is just so good. Well, I don't know if it's good, but I seen people read it. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. This is me just looking pretty. I got my purse from TikTok shop. My whole, at this point, my whole wardrobe is from TikTok shop. TikTok don't eat every time. Then we headed over to Angry Bird or Angry Shake Shack, whatever. It was seafood. It's not better than hot and juicy. Oh, oh. It was bomb as fuck. It's not better than hot and juicy, though. But yeah, that gumbo was definitely 10 out of 10 and then after we headed to trader joe's and dollar tree got some things for the house because we just moved i got in a test like tesla is just my dream car like i just can't make it up every time i see one i just like i gotta have it i gotta have it yeah. open some do you do you not have a car because you were Joe. you look like you've been ubering this whole time well then again it depends on what city she's in because if you went like a la or new york or stuff like that ain't no point of even having a car especially in new york hell no and that is that is the, the traffic in New York is horrible. Let, first of all, we're a minute and twenty seconds in. Uh, what is happening? What is going on? What is happening? What is going on? Y'all saw they went out to eat, right? Who y'all think paid for the bill? He just got out of a seven-year bid. Who y'all think paid for that meal at, at whatever they was eating at? That seafood boil, broil place, whatever. Who y'all think paid for the bill? Who do y'all think paid for the bill? Check, please. Who y'all think asked for the check? 
put it in the comment section. But these are the same women that will still up here and tell you, Deb, don't you damn cash at me, Zelle, Venmo me, none of that nonsense. No $30 for lunch. That's too little. I need at least 100 She out here paying for everything. Who y'all think paying for the movers? Took this man to the library. Oh, yeah, he's a nerd. Okay, good. That's what's up, bro. I mean, I like to read, too. Oh, uh, that, that's, that's what's up, bro. Um, She got him, you know, I'm assuming library cards and all the other good stuff to keep him active and, and stuff like that. That's what's up. I want to know what his charges were. Number one. Number two is, has he been applying for jobs? If so, where? Can he even possibly work depending on what type of charges he has? Because if he has some type of like crazy assault and battery charges, nine times out of ten, a lot of jobs are not going to pick him up. If he had the stuff like, you know, uh, like, you know, petty thefts and stuff like that, but even petty thefts don't get you no seven years. Petty thefts, for the most part, usually you, 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 you sign, you sign a no low contest, you know, they'll, 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 they'll let you slide. They'll, they'll, they'll let you slide. You pay your whatever fines and you keep it moving. But yeah, man, I just I, I'm I legit don't know what is happening right now. Fellas, do y'all see what I'm talking about when I say these things over and over and over again? It has nothing to do with the amount of money you make. Do she like you? Do she get wet when she think about you? No. Keep it moving. Oh, you got to take me out on a $300 dinner date. $300 for what? Y'all think Buddy took her out on a $300 dinner date? Y'all think Buddy got $300 to his name after doing seven years? And let me hear finish this. They are that cool. We got home and I attempted to do the pill and stick. And I'm so disappointed because not only did it look ugly tacky, sure. I fucking hate these marble counters. They're so ugly. It just gives dirty. Like you never know what's really on them because they're marble. And I hate that for me. After this, I was truly disappointed. So I had to have a snack, which is what I got from Trader Joe's. It was just some spinach dip and these pita breads and these tackies, which I love. Do y'all see that back tack though? She gonna eat every time. And I'm trying to get tatted this year. But that's really the end of the vlog. If you guys want to see more vlogs you guys have to follow our couples page because there would no longer be any more two talks on this account bye love you i wish them nothing but the best i wish them nothing but the best honestly and truthfully Couldn't have been my daughter. Couldn't have been my daughter. Couldn't have been any one of my close relatives that's close to me. Any one of my close homegirls, my sister. I'm not approving this. You must have lost your mind. Fellas, I need y'all to, and I love when these types of videos comes out because it, it it shows you the mindset behind a lot of women, how they will choose to ignore all these dating standards, all these unrealistic, I should say, all these unrealistic dating standards, they'll bend them for the right guy. Who y'all think paying for this fool? Look at this fool right here. They eating good too. I don't, I don't like seafood like that, <laughs> but they eating good. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I can't do the seafood, the fish and crabs and all the other stuff. I'm good on all that. But who do y'all think paying for that stuff? All the Amazon, the Amazon packages that she been over here ordering and all the other stuff, all the boxes that her ass had. Who do y'all think bought these things, man? But we'll sit there and tell you $75,000 annually is not enough. It's not enough. Sorry. Mm -mm, can't do it. Make it make sense. Uh, you know, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please, man. Be safe for a